Hey everyone, I'm Delaware House Majority Whip Carrie Evelyn Harris and welcome back to Roll Call. After two weeks of spring recess, the House hit the ground running for the first week of session this month. Starting out, the House rolled out many bills from committee this week, including Rep. Romer's House Bill 364, Rep. Morrison's House Substitute 1 for House Bill 17, Rep. Johnson's House Bill 204, Rep. Griffith's House Bill 353, and more. Moving forward, both chambers recognize Black Maternal Health Advocacy Week, Sexual Assault Awareness Month, Youth Advocacy Month, and Month of the Military Child. And we celebrate Dover High state champs. Following this week's agenda, the House passed several pieces of legislation. Amongst them are Rep. Carson's House Bill 14, which will create a new license for those who use trot lines and commercial crabbing and bring new options to the local industry. Rep. Bombeck's House Bill 127, which works to ease the financial strain on fire companies across the state. Rep. Williams' House Bill 253, which requires health insurance plans to cover mammograms for women 40 years old or older without a referral. Rep. Carson's House Bill 293, that will require Department of Elections to ensure polling places are accessible to elderly voters and or voters with disabilities. Rep. Phillips' House Bill 13, which utilizes existing regional greenhouse gas initiative funds within Delaware Sustainable Energy Utility Organizations to help citizens afford purchases and installation of electric vehicle supply equipment. Rep. Williams' House Bill 270, that requires ammunition to be moved behind the counter and in locked display cases to help prevent against ammo theft. Rep. Cook's House Bill 352, which gives county code enforcement the ability to tow abandoned vehicles left on private property. And finally, Rep. Bombach's House Bill 140. This bill allows a terminally ill individual who is an adult resident of Delaware to self-administer medication to end their life. Well, that's all we have for this week, guys. For more information on the legislation moving through the House, please visit legis.delaware.gov and follow Delaware House Dems on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And while you are here, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.